We had accomplished one of our goals. We had made it to the very top of New Zealand and now the very bottom. The first day was wet and really windy. They had a good system for leaving the rally campground. If the lanyard around your neck didn't match your number plate, you didn't get out. Please like and subscribe. Support my small channel and help me stop YouTube from ripping me off. They are already putting paid advertising on my vids without my consent. Hundreds of people coming and going. Getting that much sort after Bluff signpost shot. We got ours, then went for a nice feed of blue cod. Oyster season didn't start till the next month, so we missed out on a feed of the world famous Bluff oysters. After lunch, we went to watch the the hill climb. Some of the bikes were doing over 200 kilometers an hour by the time they hit the top. Definitely not for the faint-hearted. some of the great variety of vehicles we spotted at the rally campground. You can spend hours just looking around without leaving the grounds. We found most of the regulars and hard partying groups camped right at the back around the tree line to get protection from the ice cold winds. There was plenty of music and yahooing going on all weekend. Some even brought their own burnout pads and were having a great time. It was well worth a walk around after dark. Due to all the rain this year, many of the events were postponed till the Sunday. The superbikes were stopped after a bad crash, so they had to run the speedway. Superbikes and beach races all on the Sunday. This is a cruise around the campground on the Saturday. Thousands of people had arrived. The Burt Monroe Challenge is definitely a must-do at least once in your life. The crowd, the racing, the music, and great atmosphere. And we just focused on the rally. There is awesome things to do and see in Invercargill on this weekend.
Here you can see the big marquees, the food merchandise and party marquees. The food and music flowed all weekend. Owen was getting his groove on. This bus was so cool the back opened and dropped down so the owner could ride his Harley straight inside, I really like that. We missed the events on the Sunday due to our travel schedule, but tune in next time as we do the Milford Sound and catch up with our good mate Len. He was riding down from the North Island to meet us and travel the West Coast with us.